That's the pumpkin shit again. Yeah, we're actually gonna do it this time. But we have Serg with us. Hiya. I've I've actually done this in real life. Oh really? Yeah. Pumpkin chunkin? Yeah, I I have family in Roughly your part of the country would be the easy right. way to put it, and <laughs> one of the first things we did out there is go to an old relative's, like, I think she had just died at the time, but her house was further out into the country, so we went out there and used the field around her place, which was unmowed, and just set up things and shot them when we went oh, out there. Oh, that sounds like wedding. a great time. That's that's the real southern pastime, just shooting shit. <laughs> and that, like, that was when we learned that I am wonderful with a bow and a crossbow, but I can't handle a gun worth shit. Bows are cooler anyway. Yeah. I, uh... My, uh... My grandpa is from Kentucky, and he's the kind of... His accent is, uh... Such that he says doves instead of doves, and and wash instead of wash, <laughs> and things like that. He's like, hey, go get that wash rag and stuff like that. But, yeah. uh... He, um... He at his house has like doves and pigeons, and, or not not doves, but just like pigeons that fly around his yard all the damn time. And they doves piss are him a off. kind of pigeon. Yeah, but it's mostly just, yeah, particular pigeons that he fucking hates. And they fly nice. You got really desperate on that one. Well, okay. I had already they, finished it, so it's yeah, okay. I know. But I thought it was kind of funny. They fly around his yard and like would peck at his lemons or something, and so he got really pissed. <laughs> he fucking would, pigeons are in my lemons. He would. You got he would a pigeon right here. What is that dance? <laughs> He, uh, he would go outside, like, almost every day with his BB gun and shoot down pigeons. <laughs> and wow, I'm like, that's Chris. a really southern thing for my grandpa to do. Whoa. I decided to play around with some wipes in here because people told me to, so enjoy 15 minutes of the worst shit Adobe Premiere would give me. <laughs> uh, Splendid. So I was actually going to ask, is there anything, like, we really need to pay attention to in the video or comment on? Oh, I'll probably give a little explanation of some of the stuff we're doing for heart pieces here, but that's that's all this video is, a bunch of heart pieces. Okay, because I, yeah. I had a serious question for you, and yes. like this might go a while depending. Is this fucking First... game any fun? No. Okay. okay. But before I go into depth about that, I'll say the way you get this heart piece is by getting all the rings, not hitting any of those balls, and landing on that special space that's worth 50 rupees. Nice. Now, anyway... This game is fun for the most part. I like, I do actually like the sword mechanics. Even nice. If, that was pretty yeah. That was kind of mind blowing because like it really didn't think, it didn't look like you were going to come anywhere close to it, but you have to lead that pretty hard it seems. Yeah, pretty much. You really do have to lead it. It's really weird. I hate this guy. You got 500 rupees in a heart piece, though. So that's nice. <clears throat> anyway, wow. This game is really fun to me up until about the fifth dungeon. And then the second you get to the boss of Dungeon 5, it just goes downhill. Yeah, I've been noticing that. And I didn't know if that was... <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> the actual game or just the fact that I kind of loathe Zelda. No, I love Zelda games. They're like my favorite. I, I know you do, but you have been ragging on this thing. I have. I I love these games enough to say when they are being bad. Yeah, we're, we're kind of reaching a point, uh, since this is video 50, uh, the past, I don't know, 10 to 15 videos have contained a lot of, I like the idea of this, but I but, don't like playing this. Like, the last dungeon was a slider puzzle. Yeah, and that's just what the fuck. That's inexcusable. Yeah. So remember how I was trying to draw that arrow before, and I, I had do. no idea what it I was, was doing. Kind of amazing. What you actually yeah. have to do is get it like this. You gotta face it a different way. Yeah, that too. You can't just yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah. It has to be facing that way, and it has to all be. Goron. <laughs> I love the wow, God, buddy. the gorons in this game are so good. You're drawing rocks. It's really yeah. uh. What? That's all it was? You just had to show him how to draw on a wall and he gives you a heart piece? Yeah. Hey, come do this for me later, please. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. What the hell? Up? There was... <laughs> it gets funnier every time I have a new one. <laughs> I know. So remember, this Gossip Stone said we needed to be able to burrow to get a heart piece. Yeah, I remember. I know. So we I mean, got this one This right one was here. obvious. We remembered this one. Yeah, this one was really easy to get. 
Yeah. Wow, also Ooh, fairies, fairies too. You you can really... never have enough Shut up. Fairies. <laughs> they're really they're really rewarding with these, like I mm -hmm. that heart piece where you got five hundred rupees and a heart piece, I don't think any like minigame has ever paid that well before. To be fair, you have a crazy oh, wallet time. size in this game. Can you go up to nine K? Nine thousand. Wow. Yeah. Because Actually you can like get one... to five digits. There's one wallet alone that's a 9,000 wallet, and that's and like not even counting the, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can that's get, you can awesome. reach like 10,000 or something. Yeah. If you remember in, in Wind Waker, at least the American version, I don't think the Japanese version, uh, if, if I remember correctly, like the original Japanese version had like a limit to wallet size or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they upped but, it in the English version. But in the U.S. version, uh, it caps at like nine 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 nine, I think. In what game? I didn't Wind know Waker? that. No. Wind Waker? No, no, Doesn't it's still it... five thousand. Was it five thousand? Ah, right. Yeah. It does go. That's still really high, though. Yeah. I wouldn't know anything about that. Sorry. I I have See. that thing where the only three D Zeldas I have played are Ocarina and Majora. Well, those are good games. And like an hour or so of Twilight Princess. I really did want to try that, but... Didn't love that game. I'm curious, did you like Majora's Mask at all? Because it's enough of a different Zelda game that I kind of mm. wonder if you like it much. Here is the thing. I have not played that since it first came out, and I wasn't actually the one who bought it. Yeah. Uh, my stepfather got us a Nintendo 64 and both Zelda games because he was all about those games. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, my kid sister years later comes home from his house one time and I hear, Dad bought a Wii and I went, it's because there's a new Zelda Han. Huh? she went, how did you know? <laughs> Love Zelda games. <laughs> but, Wait, oh, which oh one God. was that? I missed it. That was like the curtain wipe. It like oh, yeah. spread it to the left and right. <laughs> Especially unfolding awful. on that. I, I, I just want you to know that the whole time I was doing this, I was like going through and like wiggling my fingers, like "Oh, hello," as I dropped these in. <laughs> but um, the only thing I really remember about the two N64 Zelda games clearly, because I didn't do most of the playing, he played them during the week, and I did like two bosses near the end game. <laughs> he got stuck on. That's yeah. fair. Is that he named his character Big Matt in all caps. <laughs> because Matt. that way the fairy would go, Oh, Big Matt, every time he went into a fairy fountain. That's is... amazing. So I'm guessing his name is Matt, then. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be even funnier if his name wasn't Matt. <laughs> you caught like me, his name's name. actually Patrick. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Oh, Big Matt. Yeah. That's so, amazing. Yeah. That is that is all I remember about that game, is he would keep visiting the great fairies for that. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> I, this uh, section reminds me of uh, Halloween classic Doom Rails, actually. Ah, uh, yes, Doom Rails, a modern classic. <laughs> Indie darling Doom Rails. <laughs> and you There's actually two ways this players. track can go. So I, I actually do this twice. I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. Because... The time you're supposed to get on it is, um... I cannot remember the exact number, to be honest. I don't know, but you're not going fast enough. Yeah. Come on now, is it fast enough for you? Oh! No, you fucked up there. You, you, just, you just went under Pinocchio's armpit there. That's all that looked like to me. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I like that there's a heart piece the here, though. Yeah. 112. Are you supposed to get under a minute, maybe? I'm supposed to get under 110. Or 105, uh, I think it is. Hmm. One or the other. Either way, I get it this time, so it's not really that big a deal. Man, 20 bucks just seems so underwhelming given how ludicrous this game's inflation is. Yeah. Yeah, really. Like, you're fucking loaded. It doesn't really matter. Dude, and there's such a... Like, there's... The, so the money sources are crazy, like just doing those side quests, that guy like vomits <laughs> out gold rupees. Mm -hmm. That is the, the funniest mental image. There's just a Dracula- <laughs> there's just a Dracula underneath Skyloft puking money everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And then you finally break his curse and he, he more or less looks like he did before. Yeah. Does he have a cool stash? Is that- is that what breaking the curse gets you? <laughs> I he, wish. 
he's a human, but he still more or less looks like he did anyway. Oh, okay, yeah, his... so he, had a, he came from a Dracula factory, gotcha. Yeah. His uh, his yellow wings are actually like a kind of torn up yellow cape he was wearing. And his and horns like turn into little hair tufts. Oh, he's yeah, he's got like, like hella eyebrows or something. Okay, now I'm just imagining Dilbert's boss. That is all that <laughs> is Not an up. inaccurate comparison. <laughs> <laughs> so if we go right here, it's a bit of a shortcut, and it's usually enough to shave off the time. Yeah, I see that. I think Dang. it still looks like Pinocchio's armpit, though, when you go under it. Like, look up here. This is Yeah, no, you're right. That's literally an arm posing. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing it. Yep. Oh, no. That one? Oh, we're going yeah. around. Ancient deodorant. Yeah. Ew. He's, like, pose He's like doing the cactuar pose. I love those guys. Oh, God. Once upon a time, I had a little stuffed cactuar on my desk, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> Ooh, you cut that one close. No kidding. What up? I think it's 105 you have to hit. Yeah, and you came just underneath that. Mm -hmm. nice. I'm good at video games. I can buy that. Yeah. Of course you can't go that fast. You're, you're made a of boulder. Rock. Well, oh. to be fair, in Majora's Mask, Gorons had the ability to roll fucking fast. That's true, yeah. and couldn't they use tracks in some places? Yeah, they <laughs> well, like if you if you hit. Ma <laughs> If you hit maximum speed, that transition you just did right there is like Superman 2 or whatever, banishing yeah, the him Phantom off into zone. space. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> yes. But uh, no, in, in uh, Majora's Mask, if you reached maximum speed, spikes came out of your body and you just like gripped the floor and you were it was super fast. Wicked. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So it's we're back on the sand bitchin'. ship and it's, you know, the crew is back and there's no monsters on it anymore. That's kind of nice. Convenient. Oh no! What? I don't know. I thought you were coming up to. F yeah, I'm kind of. I was kind of afraid we had to fight. What's his name again? No, there's no monsters here anymore. Yeah, but if you came here, maybe he would challenge us. Who knows? No. Wait, what? I wasn't there a chest at the end of that? Oh, it was no, opened already, was, huh? That was where yeah, we got the uh, the bow. I, that was the bow. Yeah. So I'm just kind of looking around right now because I like the way this place looks. But there is a heart piece we're getting here. And I was a little I lost in, in getting it. I missed a... Oh, never mind. I was going to think that I missed a Chester, but that's not actually... Eh, that's the one we're actually here for. I'm mistaken. Yeah, it's so a heart piece. Kind of got my information a little messed up. So can I go off on another tangent? For yes, like a please do. You mentioned that nobody was using the uh, dungeon items outside of the things anymore, and it got me to thinking that 3D was what really killed that a lot of the time. You think so? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Think of, like, Link's Awakening, and I confess, I have not played more than two of the portable games, so maybe something happens there. What was the other one? Ocarina ones, remember? Yeah, I did the, the Ocarina ones, ones, and then I skipped everything past yeah. uh, Majora. Or, I, I meant Oracle ones, not Ocarina, but yeah. Oracle oh, games yeah. are very good. Yeah, there were yeah. those. There was Minish. I have not played any of those, but... Right, right. I know that in the old days, basically every time you got an item, it meant, okay, we can put down X obstacle on the dungeon. And that's just a tile. That's all it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now... Actually, thinking about it, yeah. they kind of did that in, in Minish Cap, although not nearly as much. Also, the Four Swords games, you think about it. Yeah, no, dude, yeah, you're kind of right. Uh... <laughs> Link's yeah, Awakening thinking, especially is a great example of that. Yeah, once you yeah. get to 3D, it it becomes so much more open-ended in what each thing can do that you have all kinds of design problems with that. Well, do we just keep using this thing they've seen? Do we occasionally lock a heart piece behind, use this in some manner yeah. you haven't thought of? That's all it ever but is. For the actual progression, yeah, you either have to telegraph it or... Otherwise, you risk people really getting screwed on that. And I know that yeah. one of the things that would hold us up playing the Ocarina Majora was, okay, you've got the hook shot now, but you're not standing in the right place to see the thing you need to hook on to. Yeah, yeah so, that's true. When in the 2D ones, it was always just like, oh, I oh, know that the hook shot works on that block. Yep. Or I can make a block to get over this pit, or, yeah. 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 In a... In uh, so the 2D ones, especially Link's Awakening, uh, just think about the items. You got like the and bracelet, yeah. 
um, which picked up rocks and shit. You got the uh, rocks feather, which jumped over gaps, and they put those gaps everywhere. Like they. Oh. oh also, don't okay. forget, Link's Awakening. You could combine two. That's right. Which was used for a few things. Yeah, you could do bomb arrows. Bomb arrows, uh, dash jumps. Remember uh, when they brought back bomb arrows for Twilight Princess? Yeah, oh. they made them an actual item. That was kind of cool. Yeah, but they weren't as satisfying. But they still, they were useful. nice. And something else, we're probably going to run out of time here, so I'll be quick, but... The series just seems like it has basically stagnated and simplified to me, because they had... They have a couple of experimental ones, you know, Zelda 2 stands out, and then they basically went, no, screw it, we're doing all the top-down Zelda 1-style yeah. things with Link to the Past, and a lot of the Game Boy ones. Link's Awakening stood out because it had the side-scroller stuff. It makes, it makes me sad that yeah. 2D Zelda games like that are pretty much dead. Yeah, nope. like, the the last good one, in my opinion, was uh, Four Swords Adventures. Was, a, I think, a legit yeah. good game. The mm, thing is, is like... Total throwback territory, but it's the still good. The closest thing they're making to the 2D Zelda games these days are the the two and a half D ones, like Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, I Final have Fantasy not tried any of them. So, Phantom Hourglass is a very good game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean they're Spirit all right. It's not. just they, I still they're still Did kind of the 2.5D. Yeah, yes. She's got something interesting in her room too. So, What's Link, that? no, Link. Oh God. She's got a painting here. Of. And also, you know, stuff. And then what, what is that? To the left. Oh, a doll of Tingle. Yeah, I saw it's that. Tingle! Earlier. Wonderful.